nothing is permanent. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. You have to learn to perform without purpose. You have to learn to perform a lot of different things. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation to work out, to study, to be better. So if they don't have it, they just don't fucking do it. And that's where you fail. The fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. That always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, always yep. not doing the right thing. And then one day you're an old man. Yep. And you look back and go, God, I could have been great. Yep. I could have been great. I never forget one time I was running by a graveyard when I was fucking just trying to become, I was fat. And I ran by a graveyard and I looked out there and I have all these epiphanies, man. I have all these fucking moments of like, of it's crazy, man, of, of this thought. Cause I'm always by myself. I'm always in deep fucking thought about how to be better. And I look out there, I'm like, man, I wonder how many of you motherfuckers in there fucking just are so upset with how you lived your life mm. and fucking just regret how you lived it. And I'm running a 300 pound man thinking, man, don't fucking die like this, bro. Don't die like this. So people wonder where this shit comes from from me. It, it, it comes from such deep thought of trying to see what this is all about. What is this life all about? What am I all about? Why am I here? You know, I had to, I had to find purpose. You have to learn to train your mind well beyond motivation. If you have motivation, that's great. That's some kindling to the fire. All it takes is a little bit of fucking spark and you can burn the whole forest up. But motivation, you have to learn to exist without it. You have to learn to be, you have to be your best self when you're least motivated. And that's the tricky part about all that shit. Motivation is just a word. You have to have these different things in your mind on where you want to go and know that motivation is not going to get me there. Because I'm not going to always be motivated. Let's say we have a circuit breaker, okay? And I'm loading everything up to one fucking circuit. Just load it up. It's going to fucking blow. And once that thing blows, man, the circuit's all fucked up. You got to have each thing plugged into the right spot. Like a fucking crowded garage. You can't put anything in it. Once your brain is crowded, discipline is great. Motivation is great. But if you can't fit shit in your brain because it's all fucking cluttered with shit, there's no discipline. This has to be in you. Something in you has to wake up. And usually the only person that can wake it up is you. Sometimes you can read a David Goggins book because I was all this shit and then a lot more of fucked up. But if you don't have a little flame, you know, just that, just barely, you're done. I can't, I can't light it for you. And that's the harsh reality of this life that I want to get across so fucking bad. You can watch me, you can watch you, you can watch fucking Rogan and Cameron Haynes, all these motherfuckers. You can go to Tony Robinson's fucking bullshit, do all this shit, you do all this shit. If you, you could keep going back and keep spending money and spending money and spending money with no results. You can wonder, wow, maybe let me go try out David Goggins. He ain't gonna fucking help you. You have to explore, examine the insides of yourself. And what do you really want out of life? Your friend and a lot of people out here just don't fucking want it. So guess what? Have fun with your life. And that's the harsh reality. I can't give you shit. You can't give them shit. We can give you ideas. But in the, the day, when I was losing the weight, <clears throat> I had to miserably wake up every morning in the cold because it was Indiana, November when it started. I was miserable. This is your new life.